job. Good job on the bread. <laughs> I tell you what, while, while that's magically rising, we're going to be fast forward and showing what we're going to put on the top of that. Right. <clears throat> but as I mentioned, I don't usually use bottle or jar dressings or anything else. What's funny is that prior to going to the valley, there was one particular salad dressing that I would oftentimes use at home. And actually, my, my eight-year-old twin girls, it is their favorite thing from artichokes to lettuce to everything. And that's this French vinaigrette oh. dressing uh -huh. from Brianna's. And what's the reason I got hooked on it is I was trying to find something that didn't have stuff I wouldn't put in the salad dressing. <clears throat> so this has like white vinegar and apple cider vinegar and mustard and uh, citrus and oil and fresh garlic and spices. And you can't really beat that. And the only thing that's kind of holding it together is... Uh, like the vitamin E is, is a good preservative, and, yeah. and we got to see some of that. We did. We so we to recently visit. took a trip to Brenham, Washington County, where the Brianna's salad dressing is made. Very interesting stuff. Y'all take a look. This building, we really laid this out ourselves so that it matched the way we produce salad dressing. It's a little bit different than maybe some of the big guys do. We want to be different. We want to be better. And we were always trying to figure out ways to do that. I gotta ask, yeah. who is Brianna? Well, Brianna is uh, a name that is a combination of Mary Ann's name, my sister, who was okay. uh, instrumental in starting the business, and her son, Brian. And my mom said, well, what if we put Brian and Mary Ann together and come up with Brianna's? That's and nice. they ran it through the computer to make sure it didn't mean something in a foreign language that we didn't want <laughs> and uh, all those kinds of things and it met the criteria. And See, we, we tried that for Taste Texas, but for some reason gamey just didn't sound it, right. It didn't work, <laughs> no, no, I, I yeah, agree. This is our cooler. One thing our, about our poppy seed, we use fresh onions. Fresh onions. Oh, yeah. Our onions come to us topped and tailed and sanitized in 20 pound bags. Yeah, your dressings were the only bottle dressing I would ever use the adjective fresh to really? describe. Well, yeah, thank absolutely. You. We use very few preservatives. Um, and um, in the case of our poppy seed, which is one of our best dressings or our top uh, seller, it's almost our, uh, it is our signature dressing now. Um, we use fresh onions. Big sweet white onions come in here. We grind them up and uh, and put them in the uh, you know in the mixer along with uh, the oils and vinegars and the other things. And then the poppy seeds uh, we get uh, the top poppy seeds you can buy uh, to go in there. It's just that kind of thing. I think when you see how they set up in the mixing room um, and we do a lot of hand ads still rather than all being put together mechanically. Uh, it gives every mixer in the mixing room a chance to look at them, see what they look like, and if they don't like them, they set them aside and say, you know what, these poppies don't look like the ones we normally use. All right, so you're talking about your place being different from the big boys, but I'm looking at 30 feet high by who knows how wide of salad dressings. How are you different? Well, I think, I think we're different in a lot of ways. Um, I think the personal touch is, is different. We have a lot of people here, as you see. They're all part of quality control. Everybody's involved in the making of the dressing, some way or another. As a matter of fact, on every smock that you see, if they turn around, you'll see quality control team. We want all eyes looking for the quality of the product. If the color's off, something doesn't look right in that bottle or in that product going into the bottle, anybody here as an employee has the right to say, I'm out stop, go to their supervisor, and pull it off the line. Super cool. Family-owned business. Love that. I know, and fresh ingredients. Yes. And the fact they're using real onions and real garlic. Yes. I mean, I really, I'm a huge and fan and was, I have been for a long time. And everyone can get it on the grocery store shelf, which is so convenient. Widely available. Yes. Yeah, really just everywhere. So, <clears throat> okay, here's what we're going to do with the bread. Turn up the heat in this pan. If you'll put about a quarter cup of olive oil in there. Mm-hmm. And this is some Texas olive oil, of course. And we're a half a cup, whatever. Okay. All right, so now we've got a mixture of garlic, thyme, rosemary, parsley, and oregano. Mm -hmm. Toss it in. Mm-hmm. This is gonna make it real fragrant. Yum. There you go. Ooh, Start I can smell that smell now. That. Yeah. Okay, I don't wanna cook it. Oh, that's intoxicating. I don't wanna that's cook it so for very good. long because it's gonna continue to cook in the oven 
when we go to bake the oh, bread. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Now you got their attention. So we're gonna put that in. Ideally, if you're able to have steam in your oven or to add steam to it, mm -hmm. or just put a pan with water in the oven that you're baking it, you need some moisture. That's gonna help create that really delicious crust. I just, there's a little crevice right there that needs just a little bit I'm more. I'm a little disappointed. You didn't just run your finger right through that. <laughs> it's because it's hot. <laughs> you're waiting for it to cool I down I just wanted that last, break. That, those crevices right there just to get all that goodness. Yeah. So we're just gonna put that into this oven. This is actually a steam oven, but if you don't have your steam oven in yet, then you can certainly use <laughs> steam in a regular oven. We're gonna cook it at 400 degrees okay. until it starts to, to rise and get a little bit set. And then here's a little secret. Use a probe thermometer, put that into the center of your bread like you would the center of your, like the turkey breast, yes. and set it to 210 degrees. That'll guarantee that all the moisture is cooked out and the bread's perfect. Okay, so when you come back, it's gonna be smelling really good in here. Stay with us. <laughs>